Hey guys, how are you all doing? This is Cameron Cooper reporting for Elixir Strings and today I am very happy to show you how you can make the pentatonic scale we all know and love extra sexy to spice up your solos by adding a couple of extra notes in there. Most people would add to the first position of the minor pentatonic the blues note or the flattened fifth. <laughs> It sounds really, really interesting. And if you're coming from a heavy rock context, which anyone watching this probably is, uh, you'd be taking licks from the style of Zach Wilde, maybe, who would do something like this. Which is really, really clever, all alternate picking there. Then if you're George Lynch, maybe, you might do a, a nice big bend. come right the way down the scale and then end on that uh, jarring note at the end with a load of vibrato. However, there are two other intervals I'd like you to take note of so that you can play inside the first position of the minor pentatonic and feel a little bit more carefree. Like these extra notes are here to make you sound really, really cool and you don't have to worry about playing anything wrong. So for example, you might have um, underneath the root note, you have a seventh, which would be any note bearing the name B in this case. Then you'd have D, where you'd go up to E flat, okay? And that forms, uh, that would be either a major second or a, uh, a major nine. But when you isolate them uh, in relation to the um, minor pentatonic, you've got this. This little hammer on game. You've got something very uh, Randy Rhodes ish. Very clever. But also, another thing that you can do as well is use them to add some extra uh, layers to your phrasing. So you might do a bend. And instead of going like so many people do, instead you might do this. resolve there instead which is really really cool and then once you're even more confident with these ideas I'd like you to try them outside of the minor pentatonic and resolve inside the pentatonic and this is a lick I'd like you to check out watch closely starting on a6 down to five little finger on eight of the D and then resolving on E flat there skip over to G five up to seven 10 on the A there, and then now you're back in the minor pentatonic. And on a phrase like that, Ugh, I can't talk. Then proceed as normal, and you've got something very, very clever and musical there without having to do too much work. It's just such a nice pleasure to do. So. Have some fun with those.